Good afternoon, I'm Keenan Smith. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Police arrested an accused carjacker who took them on a wild chase. The carjacking happened on Archdale near Schoolcraft around 7 o'clock this morning. Police say the guy stole a truck and ultimately crashed it on I-75 North just past 9 Mile. That driver then got out and ran off, but police eventually tracked the guy down and arrested him. But police are still looking for a suspected bank robber in Shelby Township. They say it happened at 24 Mile in Hayes. We're told the guy's six feet, two inches tall, around 300 pounds. Police say this appears to be the same guy who robbed a Chase Bank in Chesterfield Township yesterday. Two women in East Point are wanted for committing two separate crimes and police need your help. Investigators say Misty Rogers was busted for having heroin at her home and Katie Good is accused of stealing a check from someone's mailbox and altering it. She ultimately cashed that check in. If you have information on either of these women, you're asked to call East Point Police. Now let's get a check of your weekend forecast with Hallie. All right, thanks, Keenan. And finally, above freezing today, the mildest day of the week. Highs in the mid to upper 30s, and we stay dry as well. 19 for a low tonight under a partly cloudy to mostly clear sky. Increasing clouds Saturday, especially in the afternoon. By 5 o'clock, the chance for rain. Some heavy at times in the evening and overnight, and it will be quite windy on Sunday. Winds gusting in excess of 40 miles per hour will be possible as temperatures drop a bit. Colder but dry on Monday. All right, thank you very much, Allie. A new company is coming to the Motor City and it's bringing along hundreds of new jobs. Coyote Logistics, which provides logistical support for UPS, is moving to Corktown. Bedrock announced on Thursday that the company will move from its offices in Ann Arbor to the five-story assembly building on West Fort near Rosa Parks Boulevard. They'll bring along 500 jobs. 300 of those jobs will be new hires. Those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Head to WXYZ.com and download our free 7 app for news anytime. I'm Keenan Smith. Have a great day.